Hi students, this is Anuva from Aglasim and today we will discuss the questions and answers of class 9, English chapter 2, The Sound of Music. So now, turn to page number 25 of your Beehive textbook and watch this video till the end. Question number 1 is, take the right answer. First, the Shinai or Pungi was a redid noise maker. Answer is, the Pungi was a redded noise maker. Second, Bismillah Khan, comma, a barber, comma, Ali Bugs. Transform the Pungi into a Shehnai. Answer is, a barber. Transform the Pungi into a Shehnai. Third is, Bismillah Khan's paternal ancestors were barbers or professional musicians. Answer is, Bismillah Khan's paternal ancestors were professional musicians. Fourth, Bismillah Khan learned to play the Shanai from Ali Bugs or Pegambar Bugs or Ustad Fezaz Khan. So the answer is Bismillah Khan learned to play the Shanai from Ali Bugs. Fifth, Bismillah Khan's first trip abroad was to Afghanistan or USA or Canada. So the answer is Bismillah Khan's first trip abroad was to Afghanistan. Question number two is find the words in the text which show Ustad Bismillah Khan's feelings about the items listed below. You have to mark tick in the correct column which is either positive or negative or neutral. First is teaching children music. It is a positive feeling. The film world it is a negative feeling. Migrating to the USA. Again, it is a negative feeling. Playing at temples. It is a positive feeling. Next, getting the Bharat Ratna. Again, it is a positive feeling. The banks of the Ganga. A positive feeling. Leaving Banaras and Dumrao. It is a negative feeling. Question number three is, answer the questions in 30 to 40 words. First part is, why did Aurangzeb ban the playing of the Pungi? So the answer is, Emperor Aurangzeb banned the playing of the musical instrument called Pungi in the royal residence because its sound was shrill and unpleasant. Question number two is, how is a Shahnai different from a Pungi? So the answer is, Shahnai has a better tonal quality than Pungi. It is a natural hollow stem pipe with holes on its body and is longer and broader than the Pungi. Shenai is, in a way, an improvement upon the Pungi. Question number three is, where was the Shenai played traditionally? How did Bismillah Khan change this? Answer is, traditionally, the Shenai was a part of the Nobel or traditional and assemble of nine instruments found at royal courts. Those days, it was played only in temples and weddings. Bismillah Khan changed this by bringing it onto the classical stage. Question number four is, when and how did Bismillah Khan get his big break? So the answer is, Bismillah Khan got his big break in 1938 with the opening of the All India Radio in Lucknow. He started playing the Shanai on radio and soon became quite popular. Question number 5 is, Where did Bismillah Khan play the Shanai on 15th August 1947? Why was the event historic? Answer is, On August 15, 1947, Bismillah Khan played the Raak Kafi on his Shanai from the Red Fort. The event was historical because it was the occasion of India's independence from British rule. Question number six is, why did Bismillah Khan refuse to start a Shenai school in the USA? So students, the answer for this question is, Bismillah Khan refused one of his students' request to start a Shenai school in the USA because he would not live away from Hindustan especially from Benares, the river Ganga and the Brow. Question number seven is, find at least 
two instances in the text which tell you about that Bismillah Khan loves India and Banaras. So the answer is, in his initial years, Bismillah used to practice in the temples of Banaras and on the banks of river Ganga. Later, his love for India and Banaras made him turn down the offer to head a Shanghai school in the USA. That's all for the video students. I hope you have received the answers for all the questions. In case of any query, drop a comment in the comment section and subscribe to our channel for watching more such videos. Uh, uh, uh.